Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. What do you need? Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch it was something different. Powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power, and we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting. Well, let's move on. Do you need something else? So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Are you friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers. A few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been somewhat important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a solarium, but not their record keeping. All right, I'll drop it.
Better luck next time. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Nothing to see here. I never know which pair of eyes to look at. You want to talk? Talk to Aria. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. And we'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Attitude roll, 35 decimal 10, pitch 64 decimal 18, yaw 10 decimal 28. Why is it always claws and guns? Can't we piss off a fuzzy planet? Still dangerous, but hey, bunnies. Hey, Shepard, another hard ass on board, huh? That's great, because I really need more stink eye coming my way. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how... Like I said, if we don't upgrade the hull on this boat... Let me know when you want that, Commander. We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No, natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Did the Krogan evolve or did some of Krogan their scientists... Krogan scientists? Krogan. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Maybe they Krogan. were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. 
had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can't stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on ideas, other ways? Ideas, yes. Prepare? Expensive. No messages for you, Commander. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varrican. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash on planet side. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard.
beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the law. Hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! 
We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. He'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. What's this area? for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolick Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard, our immovable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that.
Access to the AI core is restricted. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, yeah, take a look. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a... Maybe. Tool. I like you to... You are who you are, That's... Miranda. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because Tell of me it. a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren, 
Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. 